you need him. Up, what do you nerd against? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga nerd again live reaction video is going to be for Black Butler chapter 162. So, last chapter, uh, we uh, continued Mayrin's backstory, and uh, yeah, she got the owl eyes for sure. And um, I feel so bad for her. She got treated like shit. But um, how she came uh, across. Um, Steel and Sebastian was really, really interesting. And also, Finny! Ah! But, um, I love when she tried to take the shot at Steel, and, um, it shot through the tea- the bullet went through the teapot, and Sebastian just kept pouring the tea, and just kept on talking, finishing, uh, his set, uh, you know, his conversation with Steel, and, like, Steel's just like, what the fuck just happened? But, at the, um, after that, uh, Sebastian brought, um, Mayrin back and, uh, and exposed, um, Mayrin, you know, like, cause, you know, they kind of thought Mayrin, Seal thought Mayrin was a guy, but, uh, yeah, he kind of exposed, uh, Mayrin to be a girl, um, you know, by grabbing a chest and, well, you had a little bit of sex, a sexual harassment panda going on here. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. Rook to Midnight Tea. And chapter 162 is titled, That Butler Employs. Ow, the sniper from the blue game is a woman? Uh, Sebastian noticed, uh, the assassin's gender. Yes, using a little bit of sexual harassment. Yes, therefore, I figure, uh, she's just the talent we need, as our manner is lacking in female attendance. Uh, have you gone insane, Sebastian? Hir hiring an assassin as the maid? What are you saying? I'm considering her because she's an assassin. Ah! To employ competent servants is indispensable for restoring the manor. However, to be accepted as a servant in this manner, one is considered under different standards uh, than other residences. So recruitment has been frustratingly difficult. Standards? Someone with enough expertise to guard their master from danger and in circumstances, that would make it impossible to betray their master. And finally, someone whose strength um, the young master has witnessed for himself. Okay, this makes a lot more sense on why we're recruiting, um, recruiting, like, Vinny and Mayrin when they obviously, like, are not good at their jobs. This makes so much sense. Miss Owl fulfills all those requirements, but still, uh, don't just ignore me while you're talking. Uh, Miss Owl fulfills all those requirements, but still, don't just ignore me while you're talking. I'm not gonna do it, and besides, who's ever heard of a killer working as a maid? Do you think that's unusual? Both maids and assassins are professionals who clean up trash that bothers their master. Oh, God! too dissimilar. It's just a matter of whether they use a gun or a feather duster. Damn it, Sebastian! That makes so much fucking sense! Holy shit! Did you guys ever think about that? I'm gonna read this again. Right here, because this is who clean up trash that bothers their master. I don't think they're too dissimilar. It's just a matter of whether they use a gun or a feather duster. That's so fucking true! I didn't, I didn't think about it like that! Oh my god! And besides, uh, if you mean to tell me that you can't do anything besides killing, then how exactly do you intend to live from now on? Ooh, Sebastian got you there! While being chased by the Chinese Mafia with no passports or connections, I don't think he'd uh, survive even as a thief or a beggar. Oh! Oh, uh, that's... No previous experience is required here. We don't discriminate by uh, age, race, or history. We guarantee payments and... Uh, we guarantee payment and days off. And even provide luxury supplies like sugar and tea. You can even get a raise depending on your performance. The uniform is designed by, uh, by a first-rate tailor. Yeah! I would want to... If I were May Red, I would take this job at the Phantom Hive Manor. You would be fucked otherwise. Like, seriously. How about it? Not bad, right? 
those eyes. How about using them for the young master? These people are nuts! How? How is Sebastian nuts? He ma he he made good points! I wouldn't say Sebastian's nuts! I would say Sebastian is fucking right! Me as a maid? If I'm around, they're, um, they're gonna get caught in the crossfire when the blue gang comes for me. Hmm, wait, Huck was already trying to kill the Earl, so I guess nothing will change? Still, this only- You can get your revenge, dude! This still, this only makes it easier for me to kill the Earl, but I already failed once, so the gang will still come to kill me. But you can kill them, motherfuckers! You can- This is payback for you, Mayrin! Jesus! It's impossible for me to be a maid here. I need to go hide somewhere far away from here, but I have no money and nowhere to go. Shit, my head's sp spinning. Um, Sebastian, if you still intend to convince this person to become a servant, shouldn't you be showing her suitable courtesy? Oh dear, that was quite rude of me. Well then. Please sit down. Excuse me, what are you playing at? What am I playing at? You can't uh, very well eat with your hands tied, can you? Eat! <laughs> eat! Leaving blades right in front of an assassin? Is this guy stupid? I can take the kid hostage. Miss Owl, you're supposed to use the knife furthest outside first. <laughs> Dude, Sebastian is what? Uh, Sebastian's gonna fuck you up. He, he knew what you were doing. Sebastian, don't embarrass our guest. That's the basis of hospitality. Who cares about manners? A guest? He's looking down on me. He ain't looking down on you. Sorry to keep you waiting. We have heated vegetables, steamed chicken salad, and tail stew. Whoa. This is the... Dude, how do you think that's looking down on you now? May Red, seriously. What the hell is this? This is the best thing I've ever smelled. And here are freshly baked uh, campagnes. Please enjoy them with butter. Smells good. No, wait, it might be poisoned. Are you worried about poison? I gain nothing from killing you now. Are you just going to sit holding that knife forever? Do you not know how to eat it? Do it like this. Oh, God, that looks so good. Damn it, stomach, shut up. You got no say in this. Manners, young, manners, young master. I'm not in the mood to care about manners today. Anyway, this is the best way to enjoy, enjoy stew. I agree. Oh, my God. I'm curious if anyone else. I, I, I do this, too, with soup. Like, I dip, the, I dip my bread in the broth. All right, you know, I dip my bread in the soup. That's how I eat my, I eat my soup. Um, and you know, like, after, you know, I get the uh, vegetables and stuff. Well, if there's, like, if my soup has, like, a lot of broth in it, you know, if it's a very brothy soup, or if it's, like, really, really hot, what I'll do is I'll take my bread and I'll dip it in, in the soup, and I'll eat it. And also, that kind of helps you give, an, give you an idea if it needs salt or not, salt or pepper or not. And I love eating stew that way too. I, I really do. I, fuck you if it's if it's um, improper manners. It is, I agree with Seal on this one. That is the best way to eat stew. It, it's, and it's the best way to enjoy the broth of the stew is with the bread. So I'm very curious if anyone else eats their stew that way or soup that way, or if I'm just weird. Yep, not bad. Here, you try too. It's soft and warm. It doesn't smell like mold. It's the smell of wheat and butter. Yes. Oh, she's crying. Just so I could eat cold bread, I stole jewels and lives again and again. It's so warm, so warm. I see. I'm glad you seem to enjoy it. Sebastian, please prepare a second serving. That warmth turn, turns um, you human. I totally understand what, what, um, what it means by that. Like, the kindness and warmth from others, whether it's, like, a hot meal or whatnot, and, hos and ho or the hospitality that Seal is showing, um, showing Mabrin, it lets you put your guard down. Because, remember, up to this point, 
Mei Rin has pretty much had her guard up. Th this entire backstory, for the most part. Or, like, ever since Mei Rin got kidnapped by the Mafia. Or, hell, even when Mei Rin was, like, doing, uh, robbing jewels and shit uh, on the street. Um, she's had her guard up for basically her, for most of her life to, up to this point. And was treated like shit. But, and she was never treated with this type of kindness. And, um, what, and just having a hot meal and being treated as an equal, treated as a guest, really, uh, she, she cried because she's never been treated like that. And that was, that was really sweet. I really love the quote at the end. I think that's so true. It's very, very true. But, um, overall, I really enjoyed this chapter. I really, I think, um, the best part of this chapter, besides seeing Mei Rin, uh, let her guard down, is I really love what Sebastian said when he was comparing, uh, maids to assassins. Dude, I, like, I, that's, I'm curious if anyone else, like, ever thought about it that way. It's so fucking true! It's scary! It really is! Like, it's so scary true. Like, I'm not gonna lie, Sebast Sebastian's writing uh, this month was, was so amazing. Like, damn, Sebastian's just a good negotiator. He's a good negotiator. He's a good debater. Like, he, his points were goddamn spot on. They really was. But, yeah, what really sold Mei Rin, I definitely, I could understand why Mei Rin would work for Seal is now is is the and it's the same thing with Finny. And and we're gonna you're gonna I think we're all gonna notice this pattern. And yeah, we noticed it with Snake as well, obviously. It started when um uh Seal uh hired Snake that we saw it. Um and it's good and we're we we saw it with Finny's backstory and we're seeing it again with Mayron's backstory is we saw how these acts of kindness from Seal, like, really made these people who have been on their guard their entire life. We see how, um, great, how, um, they've, how Seal basically has treated them as an equal, so to speak, and treat, and treated them like a human. Um, that's what it is. And this is why, and you see why... They're so loyal to him. And you can understand. And this is why they didn't change sides. They could have changed sides. They really could have. They could have changed sides and worked for his twin. They really could have. But they didn't. Because um, because you see what Seal did to get them to hire them. To, you know, to get them to uh, be with him. And because of that, that's why they're so loyal. And God, that was smart. That was fucking smart of Seal to do. Really was. Genuine or not, that, like, I'm curious if you guys think what Seal was, do it, um, was doing was genuine or not. But, it's pretty goddamn smart. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Black Butler content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my uh, Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network, all that's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!